Vanguard is famous for its index funds, but it also has some pretty good actively managed stock funds. I'm Jack Otter, editor of Barron's.com. I'm here with Dan Wiener, who is a top-ranked Barron's financial advisor and also the uh, chairman of Advisor Investments. Right. Uh, so let's talk about your view of, of Vanguard. Um, you tend to put your clients in actively managed Vanguard funds. Why is that? Right. Well, we manage about $3 billion, and we use uh, several Vanguard active funds. We also have broadened the uh, scope of what we do for private clients. But as you mentioned, I've written this newsletter for 24 years about Vanguard, and they have very low expenses, as everybody knows. And the benefits of those low expenses accrue to the active funds as well as to the index funds. People sort of forget that it's a lower hurdle for the it's a lower hurdle clear. for the managers. Sometimes, uh, you know, Don Kilbride runs the Vanguard Dividend Growth Fund. He might have about a 20 basis point headwind versus the index. Uh, he's a very smart guy. He can more than manage that 20 basis point headwind. In fact, he's outperformed the index for years. So that's how we manage portfolios. Now, one of the arguments for pure indexing is that when you look at the active managers, sure, they may outperform over three or five years, but the old line about past performance is no guarantee. Uh, so a guy might be hot for a while, but then he vastly underperforms. You, you take a closer look at these managers? Yeah, well, you know, unfortunately, most people are looking at these three-year, five-year tables. And of course, every quarter the table changes. So that's not really how we go and choose managers. We look at long-term track records. We look at how they perform, say, on a month-to-month -month basis over long periods of time. We look at relative performance, relative to peers, relative to benchmarks. We're looking for consistency in application of their investment process, their investment strategy. So we learn about the manager. We learn about their process. We look at that performance over time and it is true that the bulk of managers don't outperform the indexes. It is also true that there are some very good managers and you can use their historical performance to, to give you a sense of what they're going to do looking ahead. And of course, the, even the best manager isn't going to be beating the market all the time. I mean, if he, if he uses a consistent investment principle, sometimes Mr. Market just won't agree with that. Exactly. And that's why you want to have a diversified portfolio. We build diversified portfolios for our clients. And what we do is we put the best managers we can find into that portfolio so our clients will own uh, a manager in the large cap space. They will own or two uh, managers investing overseas, managers in the mid cap space. You put them all together, you get a very nice ride through these market cycles. So give us some examples of funds you like. Uh, well, we don't buy funds. We buy managers. Okay. So. Uh, Don Kilbride runs Vanguard's Dividend Growth Fund. You mentioned Vanguard, so let's go with him. He, he works for Wellington Management. He doesn't work for Vanguard. He runs a portfolio of about 50 stocks. I call them battleship balance sheet stocks. Very solid companies. They all pay dividends. He's looking, though, for dividend growth. He's looking for those balance sheets that allow management to raise the dividend, not necessarily a, a stock that's got a better-than-market yield currently. So you get the growth of the company and you get the growth of the dividend at the same time. Uh, another we should mention that Wellington has a pretty old uh, relationship with Vanguard since that's right. Jack Bogle came from there. That's right. I mean, Vanguard really is Wellington uh, reconfigured. <laughs> right. uh, and then uh, there's a team that runs three funds for Vanguard, the prime cap uh, management team out of uh, Pasadena, California. The funds at Vanguard are closed. We actually use Prime Cap's Odyssey funds, which are their private label funds. Yes, they are more expensive than Vanguard's funds, but they actually outperform. So it's really, you know, it's not a question of the expenses, it's a question of the management. Their funds are smaller, they have more flexibility with them, also they're open, so you can get into them. And how is this approach done for you over the long term? Well, it's done great. Uh, I mean, obviously our, our private clients at Advisor Investments are are very happy. We wouldn't have $3 billion under management if they weren't. In the newsletter that I write about Vanguard, where I focus only on Vanguard funds, uh, the performance of my growth model, which is really an indicator of the ability to find good managers and put them in a portfolio, has been better than 2% above the market over the full uh, 24 years. 2% annually. 2% annually. Thanks very much, Dan. Sure thing.